Good morning, Miss Kitty. How are you doing? You ready to go back out with your herd? Let's see, Miss Kitty. Hi. Okay, <laughs> so Miss Kitty spent the night near her friends, but not with her friends. So I'm gonna put her back out. Oh, Manser's laying down. <laughs> He's like, hi guys. Oh, Sally. She's like, Nellie just invaded my space and I don't like it. She's like, now Lucky's in my space. When a mule puts her ears back, it's, it's very obvious. <laughs> Oh, so funny. Hey guys, what's with the lineup? Everybody's like, let me see her. This is where it started to get dangerous for both me and for Miss Kitty. So what I should have done, now hindsight, looking back, I will absolutely carry a whip out with me in a situation like this because I really needed to be able to get these horses away from her. And as you can see, it's really shaky and everything. I simply have my camera in my hand with Miss Kitty's lead rope. So it wasn't interfering with, you know, me keeping myself safe and keeping Miss Kitty safe, but it would have been really nice to have a whip as an extension of my hand so I could keep everybody a further distance. This could have been super dangerous and definitely a good learning experience for me for next time. This is exactly what I was worried about. Son of a gun. <sighs> Poor Miss Kitty. Oh. Something as simple as putting a blanket on a horse and putting them out with the herd. Everybody thinks that they're new. It's just one more reason for the others to pick on her. Oh. Gosh dang it. And this is why I didn't want to do it at night. That's the last thing I want is oh, they're all crazy. Poor Miss Kitty. She's stuck way out in the snow.
At least you guys are being good. This kitty's like, get it off me. You guys are a bunch of meanies. Well, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to hike out there and pull that blanket off of her. Now that she's all toasty warm in it, she's going to be cold when I take it off of her. Good grief. Okay, I'm coming, honey. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, poor thing. Poor baby. Poor baby. I'm sorry. Okay, I got her leg straps off. I'm gonna pull the front off and then get her belly bands off and then pull the blanket off. And we'll see what the horse horses all think of that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pull it off of her. <laughs> there you go, are you cold now? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Poor honey. She's like, see guys, it's just me.
Well, that was completely ridiculous. Now everybody wants to see this blanket. So now everybody can see why I put so much thought into every decision that I make. Because it might not be just as simple as throwing a blanket on a horse. I'm going to put this blanket away and make sure Miss Kitty's going to be okay now with the herd. Um, but that just goes to show how just changing one little thing in a herd situation can make a lot of difference. So we'll see. Um, it's going to take them a little while to get used to this. And what I might do is throw it on one of the other horses. So like Petra right here, she's smaller and Annabelle is smaller. They might fit in this blanket. So if I put it on them, they're a little bit more... Um, Miss Kitty's the lowest the lowest herd member so if I put it on somebody who's a little bit higher up in the herd that might be better and maybe she won't get picked on so bad but yeah we'll see so any decision that you make that changes a horse's world really think about it because if I had turned her out last night with that blanket on that could have been really bad and that's after these horses seen her she was in the she was in a small area right next to her herd and they were watching her in that all night and morning so far and as soon as I put her out they treated her just like she was a brand new horse to the herd so yeah you know hindsight had I just let her dry off last night fluffed her hair back up and put her back out with the herd that would have been my best option and you know it's education comes with the cost and I will work through this and get her so she's able to be blanketed in the herd. I'll get them adjusted to her. That's not going to be an issue. But it's not just as simple as just tossing a horse out into the herd when they're not used to seeing a horse with a blanket on because to them, that's a whole new horse. So sometimes it's just best to not mess so much with nature and to just trust that things are the way they are for a reason. Horses have been around for thousands and thousands of years and they have gotten along just fine without blankets. Um, like I said, this is one situation where I feel like this horse could use a little bit more. All right, I'll keep you posted.